Armory Disc Golfers. There has never been a disc made like this one. Well, maybe until now. Let's get into it. The Lone Star Disc Armadillo is a one-speed putter, and unlike things like a polecat or a glitch that want to glide and glide and glide, the Armadillo is a lot more like the Berg and that doesn't really want to go anywhere. The Berg has been very unique in its slot, but it's also been very polarizing because of its unique shape and hand feel. So today I'm gonna to throw a couple of holes, the Berg against the Armadillo, and show you how they compare on different lines and different powers, so you can see which one of these may be right for you. Hole one is 256 feet. This is right at the edge of the range for both of these discs. I'm gonna throw them flat, maybe a touch of Anheuser, and see if I can push them all the way there. Flat, maybe a touch of Anheuser, and it looks like 240, 250 is about all the Berg is gonna give me. The Berg's flight numbers are 1102. The Armadillo's flight numbers are 12. Zero, 01. So a touch more glide and a touch less fade, a little bit straighter of a disc. I think that's a fairly close replication. Might have had a little bit more angle on that. I do think the Armadillo breaks a little bit more, just a little bit more than the Berg throughout its flight. They're pretty comparable. Ooh, dropped out of the air on a putt too. That was 100% the armadillo and not me. <laughs> Berg goes up one. A note on putting, you will find weirdos that putt both of these discs. I don't think of them as putting putters. I think both of them feel weird in the hand as putting putters. If you want a putting putter armadillo Berg review, they feel weird, I don't like them. Something that's really important to note is that I'm throwing a K1 Berg, which is a premium plastic, and a V2 Armadillo. Now, if you get an Armadillo in one of Lone Star's premium plastics, they actually tend to fly less stable than the baseline V1 and V2 plastics, which is interesting, but I actually like that about the Armadillo because it's this grippier, tackier plastic that at least in my head grabs the ground better. I really like the way the V2 feels, so I'm happy that it's more overstable. The second hole that we've got here is 230 feet. I'm gonna throw these both on a forehand hyzer, see how they hold up. I want them to dump back in and not push too far because there's a creek that winds behind the basket. I don't wanna go OB. Stands up and pushes and then just kind of falls out without really fading over at the end. Well, I threw that one lower, but you can see similarly that it's standing up and pushing into this headwind and then going pretty straight without much of a fade to speak of. So I guess now is a good time to bring up the thumb track thing that's going on with both of these discs. One of the reasons that the Berg is so polarizing is because of this huge lip that it has on the rim of the disc. I guess you could say it's a thumb track. When I think thumb track, I think more something like what the Dillo has, something like a pig or a rhino. This is just a puddle <laughs> across the top of the disc. And so I feel like whenever I throw the Berg, there's something mentally that makes me feel like I'm going to grip lock it. It doesn't really happen much. And I think that this feels great for forehands, but there's something mentally that's just hard for me to be confident in throwing this backhand. The Armadillo has more of a normal thumb track. It's just kind of cut into the disc straight across. For backhand, I don't really feel the thumb track much. It doesn't, I don't feel it coming off of my hand. This just feels like a flat topped throwing putter. It is more shallow. And for forehand, I think that that digging in of my thumb is actually really nice to feel like I have a nice firm, solid grip whenever I do want to flick it. Our third hole is 172 foot tunnel shot. I'm gonna throw these pretty flat on a backhand, just hit the gap, and then hopefully they die right in front of the basket. Yeah, and this is the sort of shot that you typically want a burger and armadillo for, or that you typically think of when you think of one of these discs. A short little shot that you just want to push straight and then fall down onto the ground. Nice and flat. Drifting a little bit into the headwind, but still has that I don't want to fly, fall down to the ground. Now these are both certainly putters that you can use to drive with off of the tee, but that's not typically how people use the Berg and the Armadillo. They're typically used for these lower range, lower speed shots. So I'm gonna show a couple of those to you here. I've moved up from the original tee pad of this hole. We have about 170 feet. I'm gonna throw both of these on a nice backhand hyzer. We're gonna see how they hold up to that and how they fade. 
for me, a disc in this slot, I don't want to have to worry about turning over, just casually go in. <laughs> I don't wanna to have to worry about turning over on a shot like this. So it's good to see a nice consistent fade there. Something to consider with the V2 plastic is that it will beat up. And once it beats up, it will start getting flippier and flippier. If you want this baseline plastic feel, you can get a K3 Berg and go through the same thing. But these K1 Bergs are a lot more durable and thus hold their stability for a lot longer than something like a V2 Dillo will. We've seen how these fly on a couple of different angles. Now I want to show you on a backhand Anheuser, 210 feet, how they hold, how they pan, how they fade at this particular power. Good bit of Anheuser. You can see it's not like fighting out, it's just flattening out and falling down throughout the flight, which I really like. Now with a two glide and only one fade, I expect the Armadillo to hold an Anheuser for just a touch longer. less Anheuser, but it holds it similarly. Oh, oh, <laughs> the K1 plastic sticks. If you like the Berg, if you like the Armadillo, if you want to try one of them out, we have them both at armorydiscgolf.com. Thank you all so much for those of you who have supported the shop. Dustin and I really appreciate it, and we look forward to continuing to bring you great disc golf content. I just want to give these a little pop of the wrist and see how they fly straight. I bagged the Berg for a little while, and this is really what I liked this disc for because I could trust it to fly pretty straight. Once I put something on it, I didn't have to worry about it going left or right, it just pushed straight. So I wanna see how the Dillo compares to that and holds up to the same sort of torque. Just a little pop of the wrist. I can see that it's pushing. I feel like I can feel that two glide compared to what I've thrown the Berg before, and I know that it wants to really fall out of the sky. It's not that the Dillo is a very pushing disc, but it does have a little bit more push than the Berg. It honestly feels like, the Berg feels like it takes longer to get down the fairway, even though they're ending up in about the same spot and they look very similar as they fly down the fairway. The Armadillo, and the Berg are both fantastic approach discs. I'm excited about this one because like I said, the Berg I feel like has been very unique in its space. The Armadillo isn't an exact clone, has a little bit more glide, a little bit less fade, but as you've seen, they fly very, very similar to one another. If you want to grab an Armadillo, comment down below and let me know what you think a good name for this guy would be and maybe he'll end up at your doorstep soon. Here we're at 240 feet, and I wanna see if I throw the armadillo hard and flat, will it break over or will it push straight and even fade out a little bit at the end? So I released that on an Anheuser, but what I've noticed from the Berg is that if I make a mistake like that, it's really going to kind of straighten itself out and just push straight. I'm gonna to try to release this on the same angle and show you what I mean. I really do feel like I threw those on a very similar angle. And I feel like that's actually the best example that I've shown of how the Berg and the Armadillo differ. It's not necessarily when you hit them right on a hyzer, perfectly flat with a nice amount of pop. But when you miss with the Berg, it seems like it still just kind of wants to go straight. Whereas the Armadillo, because it has that little bit extra glide, a little bit less fade, it'll show you more of those Anheusers, which can be very good and useful, but it's not the exact same as a Berg. I'm gonna give them one more forehand on a hyzer, see how they hold up to that. The first one that I shot was into a bit of a headwind, and so I wanna try in a little more calmer conditions. The Berg is no pig or zone or harp, but I do remember it having some bit of fade on forehand. I'm curious to see if the Armadillo will as well, or if it'll just push straight the entire time with that zero one turn and fade. Popping the Armadillo on a hyzer, and that's surprising. Flipping from hyzer all the way over, not turning and burning, but flipping all the way up and then finishing flat. It's a notable difference compared to the Berg. A good bit of hyzer. That one is not flipping up and going over really at all. You can really trust it to hold hyzer. It might've stood up a little bit, but wants to push straight and fade out at the end. My recommendation is if you like something that has just a tinge of turn to it out of your hand if you just prefer the hyzer release. If you like the V2 plastic, which is legitimately some of the best in the game, in my opinion, or if you just love the Armadillo art, give the Armadillo a try. If you want something with a little bit more stability, something that you can trust to kind of cover up your mistakes, especially if you like to release a little bit on Anheuser, maybe you're still a burger guy.
If you've made it to this point of the video, leave a like, I appreciate it. If there's something that you want to see, let me know that as well and subscribe so you don't miss it. And we'll have more disc golf content coming at you. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.